Alright guys, today I am going to be doing a Lush UK uh, kitchen haul as well as I went to the shop to pick up a couple of things as well. So this isn't going to be as big as some of my other hauls have been, but I did get in a couple of packages that have been sitting here waiting to be hauled. Uh, so I'm just going to get into it. Uh, the first package I have been waiting for and I was so excited to get um, because it had the 29 High Street in it. and I um, did not have anything 29 High Street scented aside from the wash card that came out at Valentine's Day. Um, and I got to the point where I was obsessing about it so much that I went on eBay and I didn't want to spend so much for like a bottle of the perfume because they're like super expensive. But um, I did find a seller that was selling like dupe scents of Lush in roller balls. So I actually got um, a dupe of the 29 High Street uh, roller ball perfume. So um, the the dupe though isn't spot on. I feel like this is a lot stronger um, and just it's not quite there. Um, so I was this was before 29 High Street came out. So then like a couple weeks later, the kitchen came out with 29 High Street. So I was like, oh my goodness. I needed to get the dupe just to kind of satisfy my needs there. So um, in the kitchen, I got the 29 High Street shower gel. And if you guys are not familiar with the 29 High Street, it has just a beautiful floral type fragrance to it is is how I would describe it. It says the ambience of the late hour saw the intriguing sense of Poole's original shop embodied in this bespoke creation. So it's supposed to smell like the original lush shop. Um, and to me, it it's a definite kind of floral scent. And it just smells so nice and lovely. Like just the kind of smell like you would just want to smell like. I don't know. It just it smells beautiful to me. Um, it's got a jasmine flower, uh, fresh lemon juice, ylang ylang, sandalwood, uh, tonka. Just like every like scent. Well, not every lush scent mixed together, but just a lot of different uh, those types of scents that are you know found in lush products um, is it makes up this scent, and I am. I love it. So I got the shower gel and I also got the solid perfume of this and they come in little tins that just kind of screw open. And I'm not a huge fan of solid perfumes. They're just, to me, not really, like I always want to like put them on like this but obviously you can't like stick your wrist in there so you have to put it on your finger and I'm just not into like sticking my fingers into stuff and like putting it on. But I had to get it because um, my dupe just wasn't wasn't satisfying the needs of the actual <laughs> Lush scent. So I got the solid perfume of that. And also in this order, I got the Karma Shower Jelly. And I love the Karma scent as well. So does my boyfriend. So we will be sharing this one. Um, this says zesty fresh lemongrass lifts senses to a higher dimension while calming chamomile brings a wave of chilled vibes to your steamy session. Um, it's got a patchouli and lemongrass scent to it. It smells fantastic. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. Let me just, I normally play <laughs> with the jelly a little bit. So let me get it on out of here. This one kind of just looks, it looks like iced wine to me a little bit, just the color wise, but it smells fantabulous. So we are definitely both going to be using that one. Um, we, I share all of my Lush with him. Um, I mean, he, he buys stuff for himself as well, the things that I don't necessarily want. Uh, like this, he bought this um, Cole Face uh, face cleanser. And this is for him. Oops, I almost dropped it. And it looks like this. He wants to, what he's going to do is he's just going to like cut a piece off and then just use that piece. And then, you know, once he needs more, cut off some more. So you're not like using this whole bar to lather up your face, which you can. It's not a big deal. And I like though too, it's got these grooves in it. So it's like really easy 
to hold on to. So, um, that is for him though. And then I got a Lush Balm bath bomb and I will take it out of here. Um, I did already demo this one, but I really liked the scent of it. Um, it's got a, a woodsy kind of patchouli type scent to it as well. This one says, what better time to begin dreaming of hazy summer festivals than during an uplifting time out in warm water with this? Drop it in and peace out. So it's made with patchouli, sweet orange oil, lemongrass oil. So essentially like a lot of similar things to Karma, but to me, I don't think it smells exactly like, I don't think it smells exactly like Karma. Like when I smell this and I smell the Karma shower jelly, it's not quite the same in my opinion. Uh, but this one is yellow with some green in there and then it's got this little, um, it's made of like a ribbon, like a ribbon tag that says Lush Kitchen on it. And um, interesting thing about this little tag, and this is, this is so uh, weird of a thing to be talking about right now, but I saved this little Lush tag and I put it in my things I found in Bath Bombs box, which I know I still need to do a video for that. I just don't feel like I have like a ton of stuff to show though, uh, but I might still film it here soon. Uh, but the little tag, like I said, it's made of ribbon and I had it in that box and what I used it, What I used it for is I have a little owl tart warmer back here and basically if you um, if you put in like something like that like a piece of ribbon or something into your your tart warmer um, while your wax is melting you're able to just pull out the entire Slab. Do you get what I'm saying? So it doesn't leave a mess of wax in your warmer. I know that sounds that sounds so weird, but it works. So that's what I used it for. Um, I just keep it in there so when I want to pull out the wax, I'm able to. Once it, you know, just gets a little um, melty. So it's just a simple way to get, get your wax out. Um, just a little tip there. And okay, I'm going to start in on my next box. So in this box, I got a big thing of rainbow fun. And this basically has all of the different colored funs in there. You got purple, pink, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And it says a Technicolor Dream Bar for your most inventive creations. Seven colors away, each with their own beautiful fragrance for the most sensational models baths. And, oh God, this smells fantastic because they each have their own different scent. And mine came kind of like busted open. Like my box when I got it was obviously dropped. And thankfully this took the most of the brunt of it. So that's better than, you know, my bath bombs taking the brunt of it. Uh, but I got this because I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment with it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work or how it's going to go. Uh, but that's why I bought it and I never had the rainbow fun. So we shall see how that goes. Okay. And in this box, I have my ectoplasm bath, my, bleh, my ectoplasm jelly bath bombs. And I purchased three of these. I obviously already used one because I already did a demo of them. And these are going to be out for Halloween. Now, I did not have success with the Ectoplasm Jelly Bath Bomb. Um, if you guys have watched my Jelly Bath Bomb demos, um, some of them worked fine. Others have been complete fails. And Ectoplasm has been one of those. I've just been left with big chunks of um, just gobs of chunkage left over that do not dissolve. Um, 
So they definitely need to rework their formula. And I keep saying like, it almost feels like you're playing the Lush Lottery sometimes because you never know if you're gonna get a, a good jelly bath bomb or one that just doesn't work properly. So for me, um, the ectoplasm, at least the one that I demoed, just didn't didn't work well. I had asked on their um, one of their Facebook posts. They they made a Facebook post the other day. I had asked if they were planning on reformulating the jelly bath bombs, and they said no. So I think that once they come out in North America there's going to be some issues. I think a lot of people are going to be complaining about them. So I really think they need to reconsider what they're saying and do, do some twerking because I just don't think people are going to be happy. Uh, but we shall see if they do any reformulation, but as of now, they said that they are not. So, um, I got, I, I have two more of those. So one I'm sure will be in a cocktail. And then I have in this order the Snow Fairy Jelly Bath Bombs. And again, I had purchased three, but I have two left. And Snow Fairy Jelly Bath Bomb was also a fail. Um, again, with those big chunky globs that did not um, dissolve properly. Um, this one really upset me because I was a big fan of the Snow Fairy scent. It's a sweet, creamy candy smell. I didn't even mention ectoplasm is like a sugary citrus is how I would describe it. It smelled great and I loved the look of it, uh, but just did not pan out. Um, Snow Fairy, same way. I feel like it could have made more color and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that the globs didn't dissolve properly. So my watercolor wasn't um, very vibrant, um, but the scent, amazing. Love the Snow Fairy smell, but I'm gonna have to stick with like the shower gels and stuff like that to enjoy the uh, smell of it. But yeah, those, I don't know what, what Lush is thinking sometimes. Like I just wish that they would um, test their products before they um, bring them out because I feel like um, there have just been products even in the past that just did not go over very well. Like Metamorphosis was one and um, Golden Slumbers, I believe, was another one that I feel like, um, did some decent amount of staining. Uh, but, um, next thing that I have in this box is the Two Timing Tarte Bubble Bar. And this one, again, I already did a demo of it, but I really liked it, so I had to get another just to have on hand. And this is what it looks like out of the packaging. This one says, crumble under the tap for flirty pink water filled with softening coconut cream and subtly sexy jasmine. Skin that smells as scrumptious as strawberry tart. How could anyone resist? And it does have like a sweet strawberry smell. Oh, I love this one. And I remember it making really pretty pink water too. So got one of those to put into my collection. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what I got at the store next um, when I went to the Lush shop. And then I will show you um, my samples. So when I went to the shop, I just picked up a couple of things to just have on hand because I don't have any um, in my collection currently. Uh, first one being Frozen Bath Bomb. And I think, if not all of these, are being discontinued. So I wanted to grab a few. So this one is Frozen. It's a very pretty blue. Got a nice floral, almost like, ro I want to say rose. Um, scent to it. It smells really pretty. So I got one of those. I got a Guardians of the Forest. And I just used this in my Game of Thrones cocktail that I did. And this one has just like a nice, um, I wouldn't necessarily say woodsy because it's not like a warm smell to me. Ooh, see that powder fly off. Uh, but it's got like a crisp almost like green <laughs> it is green but like a green like almost springtime kind of green fresh scent is how I would describe it it smells 
really nice, so I like that one. Um, I got a Blackberry bath bomb, and I was really surprised that they were discontinuing this one. I like this one. It, it seems so like, you know, you'd see it in the store and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, what's so special about that? But it has a really nice scent, and I wanted to, I kind of wanted to re-demo some of these because I feel like my videos have gotten better over time and like I remember watching my my first demo of this one and like the quality of it just wasn't very very good so I don't know we shall see if I redemo that or maybe save it for uh, just put in my collection I haven't decided yet I just go to Lush and I just like pick up things whatever floats my boat that day so and then I also got a razzle dazzle luxury bath oil and I really like these um we shall see what I do with it I never really know I don't I sometimes go in there with like my list of like what I need to do like a certain cocktail or something and other times I just go and I'm like okay I want this I want that I want this that kind of thing oh and I got two guardians of the forest bath bombs so that's my second one I don't know why I got two, but I got two. Maybe my boyfriend wanted one. I don't even remember. Uh, but I got those at the shop, and now I just have my samples to show. If you guys are interested in seeing, every time you go into a Lush shop, you can ask for a sample. Anytime you order on the Lush UK site, you can ask for samples. Um, Lush UK is very generous with their samples. Super, super generous with their samples. Um, when you go to the shops, they give decent samples. Um, the soap samples aren't as large, uh, but um, I did ask for a sleepy body lotion sample last time I was in the shop. I don't actually have it on me. It's over in my bedroom. I completely forgot about it, but it was in um, a bigger size jar than the Lush kitchen sample, so it was a decent size, and I really like that one. Um, but lately I have been requesting soaps particularly because they give like crazy big soap samples and I heard that they give decent fun samples as well. I haven't gotten any orders in where I requested fun yet, uh, but I, I have placed orders requesting fun. So some of these are just, you know, normal, regular. I normally just ask for free samples. I'm not super specific. I've just been getting specific here lately. Uh, but these are my non-specific samples. So this one is the this one is the American Cream hair conditioner, which I really like. Uh, this is Sun Solid perfume. Um, this is pretty much what you get. That's decent. Sometimes you get like a very small pea-sized um, amount, but that one's not too bad. And that is a definite lemon, almost like lemon meringue smell. It smells pretty good. I like, um, I'm not a huge fan of lemon scents, but I prefer them on the sweet sugary side as opposed to like the kitchen cleaner type side. Uh, this one is the R&B Finishing Cream. I got a sample of Curly Whirly Shampoo. I'm assuming that's for curly hair. See, this is why I started to become a bit more specific with my samples. And the Daddio Violet Shampoo. Okay, and then these are my big chunks of soap samples. I was just so excited for. Uh, the first thing I got was a sample of the Fresh Pharmacy facial soap. So this is soap specifically for your face. I've used this before and I've really liked it. So I was excited to get this and that is a huge glob. Like that's going to last a while. So I got that. I got another sample of serendipity soap. This is my second, <laughs> my second bar of it. But do you see how big of a sample that is? It's a nice sized chunk. That's going to last for quite a while. Um, I got a sample of Sexy Peel, which is lemon. Serendipity was lavender. I'm sorry I'm all over the place today. I feel like I'm not like quite on my A game. Um, I had an extra day of work um, yesterday, so that today's my only day off. I have so much stuff to do, and I've just been working 
so many hours. It's been insane. I'm just so exhausted and you can probably tell uh, with this video. So if I miss saying something, I, I completely apologize. I'm trying to think of everything I want to say. Um, and then we got a sample of sea vegetable soap. And my boyfriend really likes this one. So it's got, um, it's got like an oceany fragrance. To me, it reminds me of Big Blue, which is probably why he likes it so much because he loves the Big Blue bath bomb. Um, but that is everything as far as my latest uh, Lush haul. I have more packages um, on the way, of course. I did not place a kitchen order this week. It was all of their naked products, really. Uh, but I did order a naked product, but it wasn't something from the kitchen. It was, um, they have their Christmas stuff out, and you'll probably see that video before this video, but um, I did order a Christmas uh, naked product just so I could try it out basically. Uh, but anyway, that's everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I apologize if maybe I missed saying something just because I'm so, I'm so exhausted. So anyway, I hope you guys still enjoyed and I will see you next time.